Hey, welcome to Electron Line. Our next video, we're going to talk about tetrahedrals. In this case, not just the tetrahedral shape, but the tetrahedrals with free electron pairs. Now, take a look. On the VSEPR code, we have one central atom and four terminal atoms. So VSEPR, again, stands for valence shell electron pair repulsion. And of course, it's those repulsion forces of the valence electrons that determine the shape of the molecules. Starting out with methane, we have one central atom, carbon, and four hydrogens. Now, when we uh, put those together, they will look like that. Now, why do they look like that? Well, if you take a look at it, carbon would be the central atom. We have four hydrogens, so they will make four bonds with each of the hydrogens like that. And notice that means that all four valence electrons of the carbon atom has been utilized in the bond, so there's no free electrons available with carbon. And there are no free electrons for the hydrogens because the hydrogens only have one electron to share with. And so then the, electron, uh, the electrons that are taken up in the bonds here will start repelling each other. And so they will find a position in such a way that they're the farthest away from each other as possible. That will happen when the, this molecules change into a shape like this where the angles between all of them is about 109.5 degrees. That's when they're all at maximum separation. And I have a little example right here. Notice that this is the central atom carbon with the four hydrogens. And notice that the bond angles are like this, all 109 degrees away from each other. So that's exactly what that looks like. That's a tetrahedral shape. But what happens when one of those atoms now disappears and is exchanged for a pair, an electron pair, a free pair? So that would happen when we have the ammonia atom. Notice with ammonia, we have nitrogen that starts out with uh, five valence electrons, and we have hydrogen that starts out with one valence electron. What does that molecule look like? Well, if we draw the Lewis structure of that, we notice that we have, uh, we have nitrogen right here, forming three bonds with the hydrogen. Notice that hydrogen started with five valence electrons. It only used up three of the valence electrons to make the bonds with the hydrogen, which means it has two extra electrons left over, so it has a free electron pair. Of course, hydrogen does not. So it turns out we still have, in a way, four appendages, three of them that have the atoms, but one of them that has an electron pair. Now, the electron pair will occupy a, an orbital Telling the electrons that make the bonds with the hydrogen. So you still have a similar structure like this, except with this now replaced with an electron pair. So you end up with something that probably looks something like this. So now we have the electron. Then the <clears throat> Okay, so we have the base of the pyramid like that. And then instead of having an electron up here, we have, I mean, an atom right here, we have an electron pair that is in an orbital shape like that. And let me show you what that kind of looks like. I have something built together like that. So instead of having this extra hydrogen right here, we now have a free electron pair. But that free electron pair also repulses the electrons that make up the bonds. So we have a very similar shape that we had before with one slight difference. The repulsive forces between the free electrons and the electrons up, taken up in the bonds is greater than the repulsive forces between these electrons, all that are within the bonds. So it pushes those electrons a little bit further away, which means that the bond angles here will decrease between here and increase between there. And so the new bond angle is now 107. So the bond angle has now been reduced to 107.3 degrees between these. So that's 107.3 degrees and a little bit more than 109.5 degrees between the
and these push a little harder on those like that. So what happens now, we now have a situation where we have with the oxygen and the hydrogen, so we have one oxygen, we have two hydrogens like so, we have a bond pair in one direction, the bond pair in the other direction, they push a little harder, so now the bond angle between them drops down to about 104.5 degrees from 107 degrees or 109.5 degrees initially. So you can see that the basic shape is still there, the tetrahedral shape is still there, but two of the appendages, so to speak, are taken up by the free electron pairs.